Good morning. I got up early to run some reports uh, before our like fun morning here starts. I had my cup of coffee. Look at that. And on the balcony, I had to show you. The sun's not up. There's like dense fog in the distance. And it just smells like Florida vacation in Disney World. The hiccups. Is he made? They're like hard hiccups. Look at this. Look at this full sheet. <laughs> Our really blankets cold are in the car. <laughs> <laughs> really cold on the balcony. I just wanted to make sure my son was warm. Or is he in a full on like fleece what, pajama onesie and I'm the one who's cold. Before we go home, we're going to see if James will go in the ring sling. And we're going to go with the wild bird. And we're going to just go for a little walk. Maybe grab some breakfast to go. And then head on home. I don't remember if we put them in, up, or... Yeah, we go, we'll go down. Put down. So, ring sling we have to practice more at home because mom and dad know kind of what they're doing, but not enough to the point where he doesn't get frustrated before we get it figured out, right. and when he gets frustrated, he fights it. And so, this one, he li it's like, it's more structure, and it's more like plain and simple, like this is where he goes, so, and he's happy. Yeah, so we're gonna go grab some quick food, Go on a walk on this gorgeous morning before we uh, head back to Evie. We couldn't have a, a stay here without at least stopping in the lobby. I love the little tchotchkes in here, and there's like an Animus Hemingway like desk statue over there. But I forgot they have like the lobby tree. Very Florida fishy tree with some mermaid action. Right there. Gorgeous, and the smell in here. So how, does that bring you back? Smells so good. Are you 10 years old? We picked up breakfast at Goods to Go. And we got Mickey Mouse stickers. Now he's really on vacation mode. Right. I feel like that's like a telltale sign of a child at Disney. They have a random sticker somewhere. Yes. Oh, I love that you put it there. <laughs> <laughs> here is the menu here. A lunch and dinner. And then just a small little breakfast menu. And a little cold case. And a little hot cake. To start it off, we got a cinnamon roll and a croissant. Also, more coffee for the days. I think this is a newer cup design for the hot drinks. Um, I love it so much. Love the Mickey's, like the, the different Mickey's. Love it. Dance it, dance it, dance it. This is a make or break it moment. One of these items, I'm not like super. I think it's going to be good, but it's like, oh, it's different. But this, Miss Vic sandwich, I'm hoping that it's like the old. It's not. No, it might, it might, it might. I was hopeful that this would be more like the mainstream one. That's literally a hamburger bun, but this looks good. <laughs> Egg, sausage, and cheese. <laughs> and then this is Sarah's. She got it on Texas. It's like a ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. On Texas toast. I can't do eggs, guys. So we shouldn't split see this then? No. Should have thought about it. No, I'm really pumped for mine. <laughs> First of all, can we all appreciate the literal com like cartoon perfect bite I just took of that? <laughs> really good. Real hammy, real breakfasty, real buttery. Sarah's gonna love it. Saratoga Springs ham and cheese or that? Probably Saratoga Springs ham and cheese. That had a bunch of other stuff on it. Yeah. What's your review of the breakfast we had? It was very brown. No, it was good. It was good. It was like, it, I felt like, like my mom made it or like we made it. Like it felt like very like from your kitchen, yeah. you know? I had that uh, sausage egg and cheese and I will say, I don't think it was a frozen egg. Like, I think it was a real egg. Like it wasn't like, I've worked in quick services here at Disney where like I've seen some of their eggs where it's like here's a plastic bag of yellow juice that is their egg or here's a bag of white juice that is their egg white but that had like literally a, a yolk with white around it like it was a real egg that they cracked yeah. unless it was like a, a pre-cooked single egg that they like heated up but either way it felt more legit than 
the typical scramble eggs that you get on Disney property or something. So, a big thumbs up for me. Mm -hmm. And good amount of food on my sandwich. Yeah, stretch. <sighs> this is healing. It doesn't look extra weird because they warned me that like because I have that cool clear strap on it that it would get weird with the plasma and stuff getting like collected underneath there, but it doesn't look super weird yet. Say goodbye and they finish packing. Yeah. It got hey. he's sad about it. Hey. It got it got toasty. toasty. <laughs> Enjoying a couple more moments of uh, resort TV. It's crazy Sarah pointed out that this is the shortest amount of time between checkout and check-in because we're doing our early Christmas stay later this week at Wilderness Lodge because we're living that crazy life. But one last goodbye to the balcony. But we have a puppy to go snuggle a little on. It was a good trip, Oki West. Thanks for a great 29th birthday celebration. I'm so happy we did this. So nice. We are home and look at what awaited us. Oh my gosh. What are you? Paperwork. I didn't even, I had, I had no idea how my metal even looked. I, I, I need two hands. My very first run Disney metal. Oh my gosh. It's so nice. I love this material. It's like matte black. And here's my shirt. So cute. I did not know that Impossible was one of the sponsors. Yeah. Um, and it came with like a bunch of little like coupons from the sponsors. So like instead of, you know, getting your little box with nacho cheese and chips. Cool. We could get a free Impossible product up to $9 or up to $10. Tricks on me, I guess. We had two boxes, one addressed to Sarah, one addressed to me. Sarah opened up the one while I brought Eve out to go for a little stroll, and it was Sarah's really cool. Like, I'm so impressed on the packaging and the display of that virtual, like the box and everything. That's for the 5K. I thought the other box was mine for the challenge, but it wasn't. It was just some, some baby clothes. And that's good and all, but like, where's my challenge shirts and medals and stuff? But the 5K medal is pretty sweet. And like, Katie Peach just got her 10K medal. Like, where's my medals? Sarah's editing. I'm watching the Chicago episode of Phil. But I'm also getting this room is a bit of a disaster. We're gonna fix that today. We got the sheets for it. We gotta put it all back together. Um, we're gonna put a lot of this stuff away because it's Halloween fall stuff. But when we went to Ikea and got those bars the other day for the blinds, or the curtains, the curtains were sold out, but the curtains just arrived in the mail. So I'm gonna hang these, I've been looking it up and I'm making sure we have like their proper anchors and everything. But got a package from Amazon and I think this is some of the stuff I purchased from a gift card that my dear friend Maria and her family gave me for my birthday. All right, so I got three things with my Amazon gift card and they're all, one's like super leisure, the other ones are like gonna be used all the time and we need it. Thank you so much. One is cell phone tripod adapter. We've been using this like weird hang from your rear view mirror as our cell phone holder for like well over a year. So hopefully I think this will be great to put on the mini tripod to use for Sarah's awesome new iPhone for out and about. But also will probably get us to live stream a lot more because it'll be so easy to set up again. Because before it was just such a hassle to set up that I feel like that was half of the 
demotivating factor. The other thing is the official Bugaboo cup holder. So we can stop balancing the, the cup of water in the bag or if we have multiple, now we can do this. So this is gonna be, if we go back out this evening, which we have some plans utilized even today. And last, but certainly not least, the good man, Holy Father's newest book, Let Us Dream. Love it, thank you so much. And I'm actually working. I have an automation running right now to uh, build some resorts in my company system. And it's like, I don't have to like sit there and watch it, watch it, but I just have to like keep an ear out just in case my automation like skips a line and starts beeping. It's like yelling, we call it yelling at me. Um, but it's probably got 12 hours of like processing time it's gotta run through that I need to have all that done by tomorrow morning, which is why I'm working on it right now, so. So we determined that we are gonna get some like heavier blockout-ish curtains to go behind those, but I still like the way they look a whole lot. We'll have to fix that one up there. I even installed the little hooks so you could, we can draw them back. Um, taking a little, well, I'm gonna fold some laundry and stuff, but I'm gonna take out the guard, the, boxes and get that set I'm gonna put this away and then we can put that on there because that's the new one that's going on there and it'll feel so fresh tonight it feels like it hasn't stopped but in like a good way so I've now hung three pieces in our kitchen we have our Hellcats piece we're all the same on the inside hung over here and then over here We've got our the herb garden and the vegetable garden. To give you some context, we're on the other side of the kitchen. There's our calendar and it's good to be home. And the vegetable garden and the herb garden. Still rock and fill, but here's the next project. Folding all of this laundry. The goal is still to go out tonight, but then potentially to Universal to see Christmas, probably before the last time we have a chance to go before Christmas. We didn't go to Universal. No. Yeah. My work thing's taking longer than expected and I didn't even tell Sarah this by current projections if I want to get all this done this thing has to run flawlessly for like another seven or eight hours and you have to I have to yeah goodness sake. I want to go pick up super amazing dinner called McDonald's ah! and Eve's upset because I have she can tell I'm going out <laughs> so ew this baby has been asleep in my arms for probably an hour. But I did take a little bit of a snooze. I was worried that that was what had set us back from going to Universal, but it was really Peter's work stuff. Um, which is a bummer, but we did find out that our annual pass for Universal, we thought it expired in January, and it doesn't actually expire until April. Um, so they had extended it with COVID. I didn't, I don't remember receiving any information about that. And I quickly checked the app the other day and I think I must have just saw the start date. So I was like, oh, that's when it ends, January. Um, so we'll have more time than we expected. We kind of thought that with the holiday and everything that we wouldn't be able to make it back there again. Like this would be our last time. Um, so at least I think that helps our hearts a little bit about us missing out on it tonight. Um, I did a little bit of Christmas shopping online. Um, there's just like little stuff that like I need to do. Like we have things in the nursery that we want to put away. There's laundry to fold. Um, that wouldn't take a lot of effort, but I just cannot bring myself to do it. Um, and obviously this little one is asleep in my arms, so... Um, that's a good excuse to, to just chill, but I don't know. The night is still young, 820. Um, who knows? We could turn around, get some stuff done, or with all the work that Peter's been doing lately, it could just be nice for us to just sit on the couch and relax while his, um, his code cranks out. So yeah, that's what Peter deserves. So I'm going to push for that tonight. Guys, this is my very first Big Mac. Can you believe it? I've always been a chicken nugget, quarter pounder kind of gal. Wow. So, it's my first Big Mac. Way too late and my work program is still not done. I want to try to run it overnight. Hopefully it doesn't bomb out or anything. 
two messages today because we didn't read yesterday for my birthday. So yesterday's was the 12th. It was by Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. If your dreams do not scare you, they are not big enough. That is like... That's all I try to do. Today is DM Dellinger. You are unrepeatable. There is a magic about you that is all your own. Love it. Love these. Love that. Love that. Super late. Work is frustrating. Um, and it's we keep not on even being Monday. like, we're going to bed, and then like he goes back to his computer, and I'm like, <laughs> if I go back to my computer, I'm like, bah, oh, ah, oh, oh, something's wrong. Bah. At this point, it's not even like feasible. I think even if it if it didn't run into any issues between now and like 8 a.m., I don't even think that's enough time for the time it's processing all these files. I think we're gonna say it's not even feasible for us to go to bed. <laughs> No, because I know that even if it went perfectly that it wouldn't be done, yeah. that's helping me go to bed because it, if I thought it could feasibly be done by like 8 in the morning, I potentially would just stay awake all night. But since I know even in a perfect world it wouldn't be done by 8 a.m. after working on this since noon today, yeah. that it's not. So I'm just going to go to bed and have to explain and deal with it in the morning. Yeah. We actually are going to the hospital tomorrow morning for some ultrasounds of James's hips. Because he was breached for so long, the doctors wants to make sure that because his legs were so tight that everything is developing correctly, so we have that tomorrow. Um, and it's the beginning of a short work week because we have our staycation this weekend. I'm like trying to mentally think about everything I have to get done for work before that so that it can be enjoyable. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>